afternoon everyone. Today we're in uh, my garage at home because it's uh, not, I, we are not able to do any work outside today. It's raining. We have about uh, 25, 30 mile an hour winds and 45 to 50 mile an hour gusts. So there's no way we're going to be able to do anything. In. And it is Monday, which you'll see this on Tuesday. Um, so we try not to work on Monday anyhow. So today I am getting everything ready for the fall. As you can see, I brought the DR out, and we have the Tiger Cat in here, which is Vicky's mower. And I am going to go over, well, I have to replace this, uh, whatever you call it, discharge there. I have one that's cracked, but um, this has got a big old hole in it. It's got several holes in it, so we're going to pull that one off and put the other one on there. i got to put a plate on the other one to fix the crack, which there's already plates up there, and I'm just going to unbolt them. So uh, let's go over what's going on here. So this uh, finally wore itself out. I don't even know what's in there. There's a, there's a hole in there someplace, but this has been like this for uh, two years um, or so. I don't remember how long it, oh, it's been. I put that on there, but it's been on there. Uh, this uh, discharge originally play, replaced this one, which cracked. So when this is under warranty, a DR sent me one of the brand new discharges. I had this for a half a season and I shot a rock right through there. It was probably a, you know, a good sized rock. It went right through there and made a big old hole. So I just put a couple plates on there because I wasn't going to order another one of these. Which uh, This is my spare and I'm going to have to put a plate on it. So I think I'm going to have to order another one for next season, probably in the spring. Same thing with this cover. It's uh, pretty much done. It's still a little bit in here. I might be able to get another season or two out of it. But the snaps, they will no longer stay on anymore. They're just wore out. And this thing this takes a heck of a beating. There's a lot of sand that gets picked up and put through there. So uh, let's get this pulled off and switched out and take care of that part. Okay, since I pulled the cover off there, we'll take a look at my weld job I did last spring, which is holding up. I have a new one of these uh, wear plates. I just haven't uh, brought it out yet. This should make it through this fall, and then I'll replace that. And then last spring, I replaced that impeller. So that should make it through the winter, or I mean through the fall season. But uh, should be all pretty decent. Just... Uh, Okay, I thought there was a hole in it already, but I guess not. Just a piece of weed or whatever was on there, so. That's all good for this season, probably all the way through the next spring, maybe in the next fall yet. Okay, since I found all the nuts and everything that I dropped off, or dropped off, that I dropped on the floor, should all pretty go with the easy part. 
Okay, I changed the plans in my thought process. I was going to put a plate on here, and I decided to put a hose clamp on here. And it's just going to hold it from going anywhere. So I need one more hose clamp in here, but I thought I had more, but I am out of large hose clamps, so I have to go get a package. But uh, what I'm going to do is, after these hose, both these hose clamps are on here, I'm going to take Gorilla Tape and wrap the whole thing so I don't be catching that all the time. So uh, this thing has not been started since the spring, so let's see if we get her started. It's not going to run very high because I don't want to fill the whole garage up with dust. Rice, check the oil first. Yeah, that's on there good. Yep, there's oil on it and it's fairly clean, so I changed it in the spring. Could not remember if I did or not. So, on, choke, partial throttle. After setting for four or five months, I'm good with that. Okay, so the past several years that I've had uh, DR Leaf Vac, um, this is like, uh, I think this is my third hose. And I'm not sure how long I've owned this. I've owned this since that model first came out, which I think is six or seven years. So what, it's all coming to this adapter here. And uh, the Tiger Cub always pulled wheelies because of the weight of that. Well, Tiger Cat's got the weights on it from the, bag, the clamshell bagging system. And the problem I have with this is the leaves. The wet leaves accumulate right here and plug all up. And then when it frees up, it shoots up in through the hose, plugs up there on the top. So, and then it just, it's a slow process with the wet leaves just because I can't get them through that hose fast enough. So, what I'm going to do this year is. Not going to use the adapter. <sighs> going to use this. The only problem I do have, which is not really a problem, so oh, here's the adapter. This is pointing up at a pretty good angle. So the regular holes, which is uh, I believe six feet, that's too short, which is not a big deal because I have pieces. This is just an example. So that will work like that. It's still too short, but I have another piece like this. It's a boat this long and I have another splice in there so uh, this will work it's going to take a little bit of trial and error and one thing that's going to happen with this uh, pointing up a little bit it's going to help hold that hose up to keep it off the ground so biggest problem I'm going to have is when I make a turn going left so I think if I get um, a two foot longer hose which is in the shop put it on there it should be okay and I'll just have to mostly make right turns I'm just not going to all make very sharp turns because the only thing that's holding this part on is just a bungee cord so so I'm thinking with that blower going blowing everything into that hose and then that chewing everything up and throwing it in there I should be able to pick up the leaves twice as fast as I ever have that's why I said we're going to be sailing through these yards this year 
So I don't know how it's going to work out. We're going to have to wait for about a week to try this out. But I'm thinking it's going to work really, really well as long as that motor holds together. If it doesn't, well then we'll just use the go back to the old directions or the old way, I guess. But I'm thinking if that motor does blow up, which who knows when it is, it may never blow up. But if it does, I can order another one from DR and have it here in about a week. So shouldn't be too bad. So I took a little break. Vicky and myself went down to the lake to look at the big waves. Uh, they're going to get big. They're pretty big right now, but they're going to get really big this after or this, later this evening. But um, now you know what our uh, kind of our setup. Not really our setup, but I don't know what do you want to call this? A, a super vac or some stupid thing like that? Yeah, I guess super vac. But makes their life easy. Well, we're going to see how it works. I'm not sure how this is all going to work. It might completely fail. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out here uh, this week sometime because we're going to take it out on some yard someplace just to get an idea how it's going to work before I get into the big cleanups. But um, since Vicky's with me, it is now time for Vicky's question of the day. So we're do talking about leaf cleanups here and Mark's getting all ready for his picking up all the leaves. But before we pick up the leaves, we like to enjoy all the colors. Have you been able to get out and enjoy all the fall colors this year? Or are you planning on going to, because some areas don't have the fall colors quite yet, because they're farther south, and, you know, some of it's turned, some of it's not. But do you yeah. go on a fall color tour just to go around and look at the colors? Our, our um, peak weekend was this past weekend, and it was really pretty out. And then with the high winds today and tomorrow, the most of the leaves will be down, so we're going to be full swing of leaf cleanup. There's several trees already that are bare. Yes. It's like, you know, that means, that means winter's coming. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be it for us for today. It's a little bit of a reveal of what's going on in the near future here. And that's going to be in the video for today. So please leave a comment down in the comment section. Uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified when the next video is released. Have a good evening. See you at the next one. Peace. Goodbye. Till next time.